Well, yeah, it's just colder than finding your hot boyfriend cheating on you with an even hotter girl. <laughs> Minus negative eight below zero. It's not even that, that cold. It gets colder than that, but I'm wearing my Michael Kors scarf that I, cars, <laughs> Michael Kors scarf that I thrifted. Um, we're going to go to Value Village and then we're going to go to Salvation Army because Salvation Army is having a 40% off of sweaters and media. So I look over the sweaters frequently, but I don't know. I don't want to go far. I want to go to the one by my place. But before we do that, I want to do a what's in my bag. Someone was saying, you know, bitch, do a what's in your bag. So I'm doing a what's in my bag. So the bag we're using is the Prada that we thrifted. The Prada Safiano Lux doubles a coat. I just hung this Michael Kors pom-pom on it. I think it matches well because it's silver and the bag has silver hardware. So we paid, I think like, 50, let's say $60. I paid $60 for this. It was 70 minus 30% plus tax. And it is authentic. I don't care what anybody says. I know my shit. It. But yeah, I love this. I actually love this bag. I like that it's... Okay, let's go over the bag first. I love that it's like a double zip, so you can put your secure items where the zipper parts are, but if you want easy access, like Miss Philly's legs spread open for a hot guy, you can just like dip it and do it right there and get your stuff that you need easily and outly. The side has this, the, the buttons. Oh my God, I got, oh, it's just a car accident. Oh, they're okay, yeah, they're okay. Okay, so let's go inside. What do we have in the open compartment? I have the magazine that I'm currently reading, read which is the Entertainment Weekly with Julia Roberts on the cover. That's what it looks like. I love Julia Roberts. She's, she is quintessential 90s movie star and 2000s movie star. And I like her. She's one of my favorite actresses. Her and Rachel McAdams are my favorite. Oh, and Angela Bassett. I love Angela Bassett. Oh, I love her so much. Oh, you know who else I love? I love... What's her name? She was in that movie, Napoli Ever After, Sanaa Lathan. I love her too. Those are my favorite actresses, period. So we have clean, um, Kleenex wet wipes for when we do a number two in public and we need to wipe shit down, clean our ass. Bunch of Kleenex, because you know Miss Philly is a Kleenex hoe. What do we have else in here? We have, okay. Paper towel in case we need a rougher surface than the Kleenex, something more durable. Uh, Bath and Body Works Pineapple Colada Antibacterial. Mo Kleenex in a package this time, the one that's made in Italy. <laughs> mm, what else do we have? My, oh, my Everyone Hand Sanitizer Antiseptic Cleanser Spray made of coconut plus lemon. We got that. Because I use it to spray on the toilet and then spray on the carts because we don't want you know germs are afloat galore um, oh. <laughs> uh, we have the cough drops from honey lemon cough drops this was given to me for my birthday from someone Um, <laughs> I still have it. Uh, then I have my eel skin clay. Oh, you know what? Speaking of a clay or a key holder, or there's not a clay, there's a key holder. I actually am considering buying the Louis Vuitton one, the six key ring holder. The six one is 260. The four one is two. No, the six one is 290, I think, or 260. No, 260. And the four one is 240. For an extra 20 bucks, you might as well just get it. And plus you can put a card in the six key holder, the four one you can't. So, yeah, how many keys do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. I have six! So that would work perfectly, the six key holder. So I don't know, I'm kind of, I've been looking on eBay to buy one pre-loved, but I mean, like 260 plus tax is just under 300, so maybe like 280, 270. But I was looking at pre-loved ones on eBay and they're not that much more like different. Like people are charging 300 or like uh, 250. Like I think for a pre-loved one, there'd be a significant difference in price, but there's not. So might as well buy it new than pre-loved, whatever. And that's all we have in the middle compartment. This zipper compartment, we just have my coach wallet. I know, right? Coach fraternizing with Prada. That's blasphemous. I know. I need to spit. I usually need to blow. 
but usually you blow then spin. I don't know. So yeah, the coach wallet we have, there's nothing really in here, just cars and my uh, Value Village coupons, the 30% off ones that I have for donating, just some cash, not much cash. This is all the cash I have. I know it's so colorful. A lot of people like Canadian money because it's colorful. I like the green of the Benjamins because it's worth more in con conversion wise. And then, oh, I forgot in the middle compartment, we also have my hair tie. I always, I love these hair ties. You can only get these at Dollarama. I love them because they stretch far. They're comfortable in your hair. They don't snag your hair and there's no metal piece. I hate hair ties with metal pieces, but these only last me about two or three months before I have, before they get all stretched out and have to toss them out. But I bought like a crap load of them and I think I bought like five packs and I'm down to like my last two. And that was like 2014-ish, I think. Is there anything else in this? No, there's nothing else in that pocket and this zip pocket over here. Oh, by the way, this bag becomes very heavy when you put all your shit in it and that's not even that much shit. Did I say this? Oh, I didn't see, I, I see it over there, but this perfume. Um, that's what I'm, I'm wearing right now. I bought this at Sephora with a certain someone. Saw it in a blog. Um, it's from the brand Sud Pacifique. It's a vanilla apricot. Eau de Toilette. And it smells so yummy. It smells like literally like freshly baked cookies, but not cookies because it's vanilla. Mm. Whenever I wear it, people are like, hmm, you know, and... I want to spray that all over my kiki so I can attract a nice, hot guy. What the hell's going on with this? This thing right here. So the last zip pocket. Oh, do we have anything here in the zippered pocket? Let me see. Oh. Ooh, what's that? Oh, there it is! I've been looking for this. It's... It's my P.O. Box key. I had to go replace it because I thought I lost it. Here it is. And I had to pay like $10. Maybe I can like give it back to them and be like, um, I found it. Can you give me back my money, please? Yeah, it's the exact same one. I'll go to the office and see if I can get my money back. Next, in this other zip pocket, we just have my Louis Vuitton. I, oh, what's going on with my hair? Jeez Louise. Maybe it's just the blowing of the wind or the heater. It's making it do that. Okay, so we got my Louis Vuitton agenda. I don't have my checkbook in here right now because I don't find I use checks a lot. But you guys see that? The only wear on this is a little bit of like, I don't know what that is, like nail polish or I don't know, like that there. I don't want to ruin the canvas and plus I think it adds a little bit of character to it anyway. So other than that and like which another thing that bothers me is when the corners flap up like that oh i hate when that happens i tried sitting it down on like some books like that so that it could flatten but it didn't work and maybe i didn't leave it as long maybe i should need to leave it like that for literally a month but i got these inserts from amazon oh i got these from etsy these um because one of my favorite tv shows is buffy the vampire slayer so i have buffy summer's pager it says beat me i found this in an old box this when val kilmer was batman and it's like a pog you guys remember pogs do you remember pogs anyway i got this from mcdonald's i still remember vividly when i loved pogs as a teen but it's nine out of 32 batman forever when they had a promo with mcdonald's and they were giving these pogs away you can see it right there it says 1995 oh my gosh it's so long ago but i just decided to keep it and put it here for memorials and then just like some colored paper green pink and then oh i have this too I survived, oh, where is it? I survived 1999 Sunnydale High School. <laughs> That's the same year I graduated high school, so it's kind of like, I kind of like grew up with her. Anyway, I love this agenda. It's just not functional as an agenda. It's just really for jot taking, storing some cards, writing some notes. But other than that, don't expect to be journaling with this unless your penmanship is super, super, super. I'm actually digging this bag a lot like a lot I kind of want the black version now I know my friend in BC has it in black that she doesn't want anymore that she's been trying to sell maybe I can buy it from her and like do payments maybe bitch can't afford to pay full price for this bag <laughs> I actually do like it though I actually do like it 
but she'll probably like it too because she seems like one of those people like because i'm one of those people when i don't like something but other people like it that makes me like it <laughs> like oh i don't really like it but they're like i like it oh i like it now too I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like my Prada. Um, Prada, FYI, get Kylie or Kendall or one of the Hadids to rock your bags because you ain't popular, okay? You're like, it's like Hermes, Chanel, Louis. Sometimes Louis overtakes Chanel by going back and forth. Louis, Chanel, Chanel, Louis. Then it's Gucci tied with Fendi. And then Prada, you're like, underneath that so you need to elevate yourself and because your, your quality is good I mean aside from the fact that you started making your bags in China but elevate yourself Prada get a freaking vlogger blogger someone popular to carry your bag and you're good you're set or get someone to uh, to collab with do a collab or something because I don't know I still think Prada is okay well, now I do, after owning the bag. Okay, guys, we're at Value Village. Let us go and see what they have. I'm thrifting with my Prada. Mm -hmm. Thrifting with Prada. I wish the sun stayed out longer. Goodness. I hate when that happens when you're like coughing like a mad woman in public and it can't stop. This Danier. The only thing that's kind of wrong with it is like that with the glazing. I mean, it's all over, see? But it's $25. It's not too, too bad. But it's like a super cute. It has like the longer strap too, which is kind of cute. See that going on there? I mean, it's not a huge, huge deal. The leather is like, the leather feels like Antigona leather. Okay, so we're using the Prada bag today. Super cute, right? And here's the Danye leather bag. Here's the Danye leather bag right there. The inside is removable, like this leopard print, which is kind of cool. The glazing isn't that bad. I mean, there isn't any like corner wear. See, there's feet on the bag. It's a really good quality bag, actually. It's a nice like little hobo style. 
And of course it has a crossbody strap as well. Lulu hoodie size 12 for only seven bucks. That's a deal, except I was gonna get it, but there's like some wear on the cuffs and that's not sellable condition. I'd probably keep it for myself, but I don't know. I have like a black one already. Hey guys, Miss Philly in the dark now, I know. <laughs> Okay, so I want to show you guys what I got. I got a lot of things. It was $80 for everything, but I used my 30% off coupon. So it brought it down to $55.85. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. Um, first things first, I got this for $6. These fake plants. I love the color scheme of like lavender and you have your blues. And that's the theme that I'm going for. So... Yeah, this was $6, which is a deal because you buy this at Michael's, it'd probably be like $10, $20, $30. I don't know. I don't know how much fake flowers cost. The thing about fake flowers I know, though, is that it's probably bad for allergies, but I don't care. I'm going for nice decor. We got a couple of these things. This shadow box I loved for hanging. Um, I like it because it's easy. You just open it and place the picture. So easy peasy. And it was only three bucks and you can also hang it which is nice so and then i picked up this andy warhol art i love it i love the saying on it i'm not really a i mean i like andy warhol's art but i'm not like obsessed with him or anything but i like the saying that he says think rich look poor i'd like to think rich and look rich <laughs> that's my motto um, but this was only seven dollars minus thirty percent. This is originally from Home Sense, and it was originally twenty dollars, but that was on sale from forty. So let's count. Next, we got this Danny leather bag to resell. Um, I liked it because the leather is so thick and substantial. I love that it has the top handle and the crossbody strap, and also it's kind of like a two-in-one bag. It can be like, like it's leopard print inside, but this pouch that zips can actually be re removed. It's buttoned, buttoned. So that's actually a really cool, I thought. Unique looking bag. It's gonna be hard to photograph, but with Danielle, take the risk because it is black, basic, sturdy, crossbody top handle. And it's a nice little hobo bag. I'll just stuff it and leave it like that for a while. I mean, I haven't even listed all the other bags that we bought before, but it is super cute basic bag, I thought for 25 minus 30% plus tax. So I probably paid like 18, 19, $20 probably. <laughs> yeah, I think I paid $20 after taxes. So you have the top handle and the crossbody and the inside is open, raw leather, but then you have the interior zipped pouch that connects by a button. Kind of like the, the Chanel, uh, Chanel executive tote where the size clip on. So, it's exactly like that. And it has the Danny hang tag. And then we bought a couple of shirts. We bought this hoodie, TNA large. I love white. White looks so good on dark skin tones. Um, on white skin tones too, light skin tones. This is only $7 minus 30% plus tax. Retail on this is 60 plus tax. So from my understanding, the price of Aritzia pieces and clothing here is the same as the US. There's no conversion. Um, because I believe someone went to the New York one and told me that what something costs, and that's the exact same cost here without the conversion. So if it's $60 here, it's $60 there. So it's more expensive to buy it in the US actually. But yeah, that was a good score on that. And then we picked up this uh, Adidas hoodie. I liked it because it was super long. So it covers your butt. A lot of people like that. And it was only like $7 minus 30% plus tax. It's a medium, but it looks like it could fit a large. There's a little bit of staining on the cuff, but I think I can get that out. It's like so minimal. But I haven't seen an Adidas shirt like this before, and I thought it was kind of cool and cute. And there's no cracking on the appliques. Next, we bought this Starbucks cup, six well, mug or whatever this is called. It's $6 minus 30% plus tax. I love the design of it. It's just gold. It's in perfect condition. So I probably paid like $4 for this, which this I think retails for 20 or plus tax. This is from 2014, super cute. And then we picked this up. I just like the way it looked. I mean, the color of it. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. Maybe like a candy dish, but it was only 99 cents and it goes with my color scheme.
Next was the Starbucks mug. I loved it because it was huge and it was very vintage from, well, not very vintage, but it was from 2007. So that's a while back. $7 minus 30% plus tax. And it says barista on it. Um, Starbucks barista. So, and it's a huge mug. Good for like tea or cocoa. Because I don't like mugs that are, or cups that are so small that fits only a little bit and you have to refill it all the time. I don't like that. As a heifer, I don't like that. The last thing we got was this ampersand. I thought it was super cute. I don't know if it works. It was $7, kind of expensive, but these at Winners, I think retails for like 20 plus tax. So these can be really pricey and it has the light bulbs in it. Um, I need a small screw. I need to screw this out <laughs> and see if it works. So, cause, ooh, super cute. I know it's so cliche, a lot of like YouTubers or people who are younger, even though I'm not young, uh, with their home decor have this like this where it's like um it's, what is this uh tin or like industrial kind of metal with the lights it's so cliche <laughs> yeah so that's all that we got i hope you guys enjoyed this little thrifting we're gonna go over to salvation army because they're having their 40 percent off of their sweaters and their media so which means if their dvds are two dollars that means they're only like a dollar 25 which is a deal so we'll see if we find anything that we like Hey guys, we're at Salvation Army. Um, they have their 40% off sale today for their sweaters, media, toys, so we're gonna go check it out. Or, I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> okay, let's go. Does that work? I'm gonna hit up the media first, then the sweaters. I have too many clothing, too much clothing. We certainly do. Hey guys, we're coming from the Salvation Army. We only picked up uh, three things that came up to like 580. Wait a minute. Oh, movies are 2.99 each, so three dollars. I thought they were 1.99 each. My bad. <laughs> I ended up paying like five dollars and eighty cents, which I guess is okay, but whatever. I picked up this One Direction Ultimate Edition because it's brand new, sealed. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be worth something one day, like in 80 years. <laughs> um, but I actually do like One Direction. So, and it's the one with, it came out in 2015, I think. It has songs like Best Song Ever, Story of My Life, Midnight Memories. So, I basically paid like a dollar 80 each ish. Sydney White, I love this movie. Um, I, I used to love Amanda. Amanda Bynes movies back in the day, like, what else was she in? Uh, she's, the one where she was with Channing Tatum, I forgot what that was called. She, not She's All That. Um, I forgot, but then one where she's like, a, she plays like a, uh, she turns into like a boy so she can join a school with, she was with Channing Tatum. That was a good movie. And What a Girl Wants, that was a good movie too. She used to be in like a lot of good teen movies before she went all crazy. Um, and Fantastic Four. I just picked up those up to watch. Uh, there's like this couple there, like they were so talkative and loud. And then they wanted to like look at something at the auction uh, thing. But I know for their policy that you're not allowed to look at auction things unless you know the manager, then she might open it up in the morning to let you look. But otherwise, but they do have a policy that if you win and you don't like it when you pick it up, then it's fine. You can reject it. But they're just making a huge like deal about it. They're like, why can't we look at it? Do we look like we don't have any money? Is that what you're saying? Like really if you're gonna act hood then yeah 
you should be treated like hood. No, but really, they were just so loud and disrespectful. And I felt bad for the lady who was working. She was like a younger girl too, because she was just like taking it, taking it, taking it. And they were like yapping and yapping, yapping. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is when people, like they're not directly talking to you, but they're talking to themselves so that you can hear them. That is like the most annoying, most irritating thing. Like I literally want to drive a screw into my ear and poke my brain out. Like they were like further down, but they were like muttering and they were trying to, they were saying things so they can get their point across to the lady when they're not, they're like indirectly trying to make their point across. Even though it, it's just, I hate that. It's so, it's, it's so annoying. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thank you for coming with me. There wasn't much here. Everything was picked over. There was an anthropo- I ran into Nancy, her husband and her kids. So, hi, Nancy. Hi, JP. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Derek. Derek is always happy to see me. I love him. He, I love both of them. Both of her kids are great. Um, but Derek, especially, he's always, like, happy to see me. <laughs> um, yeah, so, he was so cute. He's always wanting hugs, and he's a cute little boy. They're both, they're both great. They're all great. Um, but yeah, I ran into them. Her husband just totally beelined it to the movies. I'm like, I'm beating you to the movies. There's still a good selection. I already have most of them. So go, go get them. <laughs> I actually found a tub of uh, DVDs in my basement. So hopefully I don't have these movies. If I do, maybe I'll just give it to her husband. But um, yeah. Hey guys, we're coming from Value Village. We didn't find anything here. There was a red sack bag, but I don't think, I don't know, it was a little bit kind of expensive. It was like $40. So I thought maybe I could sell it for 60, but I don't want to go through the hassle just to make like 20 bucks. Invest a lot and get only, well, actually less than 20 bucks, like 16 probably. Anyway, we'll try again tomorrow, see if we find anything else. Um, I mean, we did luck out with just one Daniel leather bag today and I think the Adidas top might be sold. My friend wants it. She saw it on Instagram. So she might be getting that. And I'll be like doubling my money in a little bit more. So if you guys ever see anything you want, please send me an offer, email, Instagram. They're all in the description bar below.